Okay, so first up, I'll select my images and drop them into Lightwave. Push D on the keyboard, go to backdrop, and I will go to the bottom left, select my front image, change the size to 5, and I'll just adjust the horizontal. I'll go to the bottom right and I'll select my side. I'll change the size to 5. So I'll try and adjust uh, these settings, the horizontal and the vertical. Just adjust the size, the horizontal, the vertical and see how it matches. Okay, so we are done with this. Let's zoom in and while we are here, I'll go and get a box and on the back view i'll create a box like so on the right view i'll leave it where it is i'll select these two points and i'll push v on the keyboard make sure it's on the x-axis and enter then i'll push shift v and n for numeric on the keyboard i'll push space cancel and i'll go to the image editor and i'll just reduce my brightness for both my images Well, then I'll just get my drag too. Well, don't forget to turn on the symmetry. I'll make it like so. Okay, I like this. So what I'll do is I'll select these sides and I'll start extruding going around the map. Till we reach till we are back here push v on the keyboard and they all go back to the center and i'll select both of them control w for weld and i'll weld them and i'll select these top polygons and i'll just drag them up like so these four select these two and drag up ones like this and then I'll extrude again here. I'll keep going like so. And while I'm here, I'll select these two faces and I'll extrude again, going out, going around the eye. Okay, so I'm on to divide and I want to make another line here. So I'll go to multiply Bantso Pro and I'll start extruding again, going around the eye like so. Okay, so I'll select these four polygons and push P on the keyboard to create a polygon. At this point, I think I can save my object. I'll save this dragon, no, character three dragon so at this point I want to move some of these down I want to let's drag this down as well I think they're too squeezed here so I'll select these and I'll start extruding I'll extrude stretch and I'll be welding the points I'll select these two points and weld them. Control W. And I continue just like that. You can position some of these points with the drag tool. Remember, Control T on the keyboard. Okay, let's even do this one as well. I'll move these back so that they're in the same line. Okay, 
looks like I have to move even this one again back. I will draws and well, I'll move it later. So let me just reach this point. Okay, so I'll start moving this back a bit. I just made another line here so so that they can match. I think I was I didn't have enough lines so we continue like this okay so here I can just weld these and that to that I can just position some of these like this okay so what i'm doing is i'm deleting one side and mirroring it so that it's the same as the other side uh because i keep on forgetting to switch on the the, the symmetry too so that's the reason why i keep doing this so this time i'll turn it on and i'll start extruding so that it's happening on both sides yeah so i'll just extrude and i'll come back and load the points Okay, no, I don't think I should go that far. Okay. So I will do these points now. I'll do the same on the top. What I'll be doing now is I'll be moving the points uh, matching the side view like so. Just select point by point. I'll start with the ones on the middle. Move them to match the side view. Okay, I think I want to add another line here. Uh, so I just extruded some more on the mouth and I'll move it out. I'll move it like this. Okay, so I'll continue now. I felt like I didn't have enough points there.
I don't think this point is in the right spot. Let me just move it. Okay. And I can just position some of these. Let me just move these some of these points around. Okay, so I'll push tab to see to see this in in sub patch mode. Okay, so I need to move some of these points like that. They're squeezing here. So I want to make another div division here. I will cut here, bandsaw pro, and another division here, bandsaw pro under multiply. I think I'm loving what I'm seeing, except here, I think I didn't weld some points here, so I need to select two points that are here and Control w for weld, and we are good. Okay, we are making progress now. See you in my next video.